Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to demonstrate how you can use the ZBrush Pose Tools plugin to easily generate and manage pose layers, providing a much more efficient character posing workflow in ZBrush. Let's start off with the installation process. To learn more about this pipeline, please visit the main product page. You'll also find a download button for the plugin here. After downloading, extract the zip file and you'll get a pose tools subfolder and a pose tools.zxc file, which we need to install into ZBrush. To do this, right click on your ZBrush application and navigate to the Z startup slash Z plugin 64 folder path. Drag the pose tools folder and the pose tools.zxc file in, and you're good to go. Now once you load up ZBrush, you'll see the Pose Tool plugin in the Z plugin panel. Before we continue, let's briefly explore the workflow without the plugin. Here you can see a soldier character made up of multiple subtools. If we want to pose this soldier character without the plugin, we need to start by expanding the layers panel and creating a new layer for all of our subtools. After that, we can begin posing. When we're finished posing, we need to turn off record mode for each layer again, and proceed to max out the slider for each subtool. An easier way to accomplish this is to simply use the Transpose Master plugin and adjust the character's pose manually. Once you've created your pose, enable the layer and click on the T pose sub T to generate a layer for each subtool. However, this is still rather inconvenient if we want to switch between preview poses, as if you want to manage them better, you need to name all of the layers individually and manually adjust the layer slider for each subtool. This can be a bit repetitive and takes more time than with the Pose Tools plugin workflow, which we'll look at next. The Pose Tools plugin allows us to aggregate all of these layers into a single pose. To do so, all I need to do is expand the plugin and click on Convert Layers to Pose. You have the option to do this for all layers or just the hidden ones. Once it's finished processing, you'll see the layer names grouped with a CC pose prefix, meaning that they are now managed by the plugin. Now you can simply click on the respective poses in the plugin section as opposed to moving the layer sliders one by one. Deselecting them both will return to the default pose. Okay, let's look at how you can record a new pose with the Pose Tools plugin now. If you click on Record New Pose, it will create new layers for all of the subtools with a single click. From there, we can continue posing like we did before. After posing is complete, click on the Save New Record button to turn off record mode. It's always a good idea to click on the Rename button so you can keep your poses more organized. Once you rename them in the plugin, you'll see the suffix of each layer group change as well in the Layers section. It's super easy to continue to edit each pose as well. Start off by clicking the Edit Current Pose button to turn on Recording Mode and proceed to make the desired edits to your pose. Once finished, simply click Save Current Record to turn off recording mode and everything will be updated with that particular pose. No need to mess around with the individual layers and subtools. When it comes to subdivision, there are some presets in the plugin that allow you to change all of the subtool subdivision levels at once without the need to adjust them individually. The All Low and All High buttons will switch all subtool levels to the highest or lowest level. Lower res and higher res will adjust the subdivision level by a single level lower or higher respectively. 
Finally, there is also a Divide button, which you can use to add another subdivision level. By increasing the subdivision levels, you can add more details to elements like skin wrinkles, muscle curvature, veins, and more. This is a workflow that you definitely want to become familiar with if you plan on doing highly detailed renders. And thanks to the Pose Tools plugin, even if your character has numerous subtools, this process can be a little less tedious. You can also remove and delete any poses you want via the Pose Tools plugin. If you use the Remove button, it will remove that pose from the plugin, but you'll still be able to find it in the Layers section. If you then want to restore that pose to the Plugin Pose Library, simply click on Convert Layers to Pose. Using the Delete button will delete both the pose and layer, so only do this if you want to completely get rid of it. Finally, you can save your project if you want to edit it again in the future. Simply use the Ctrl S hotkey to do this. When you initially reload that project, you'll find that there will be no data in the pose list. To restore those poses, simply click the Refresh button to reread all of the layers and restore them. That's all there is to this introductory tutorial for the ZBrush Pose Tools plugin. For more info on how to use it in combination with Character Creator, please check out our other tutorials in this series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.